What's up guys, I'm James and welcome back to the Great Gambino channel. Today we are going to take a look at the Boulder Venture. If you do end up enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe or click the like button as it really does help me out and motivates me to keep pushing this channel forward. Now this watch was sent over to me by Chris from the Watch Lounge, so I want to say thank you to him for allowing me to take a look at it here on the channel. And if you want to check out some of his reviews, I will have a link down below in the description. Read straight from the Boulder website, the Boulder Promise. Designed to be worn, used and abused every day, our products are made to be tough enough for all of life's adventures, whatever they may be, and wherever they may take you. It's very clear by Boulder's Promise that they create timepieces for people that live a more physically active lifestyle. Real quick, I'll give you some measurements. We have a width of 38 millimeters. Lug to lug is gonna be 47.4 millimeters. If you wanna change out the band, it's 20 millimeters. And we have a case thickness of 9.5 millimeters. A Boulder logo has been stamped into the crown as you can see here. The glass used is a flat piece of sapphire crystal that has an AR coating on the underside. For the price of the piece, I feel it does a decent job reducing glare. The matte dial is complemented by a custom handset and has printed numerals, indices, and a boulder logo under the 12. One of the things I really enjoy is the orange trim added on the tip of the second hand. It gives a hint of flair to the overall piece. Inside is powered by a Quartz ETA 802.102. The battery should last about 40 months before needing to be replaced. And just so you know, in the newer versions of the Boulder Venture, the Quartz movement has been replaced with an automatic NH35A. The case is made out of titanium, and I'm a huge fan of titanium. I really appreciate the lightweight and gunmetal finish. And on the side profile, we can see the downward slanted lugs that are going to do a great job hugging the wrist and creating a comfortable fit. Looking at the backside shows an embossed limited edition X symbol with multiple words and phrases overlapping each other, creating a custom piece of art. I believe this is a third-party strap added by Chris. The original strap that ships with this piece is a solid jungle green nylon NATO with titanium buckles. But let's go ahead and take a look at the loom. The hands, indices, and numerals are all coated with a Japanese super loom. These areas are thin and a bit small, so don't expect to be overwhelmed, but it's definitely bright enough to get the job done. And here's a side-by-side -side shot next to an American quarter to give you a better representation of the scale. This is what the watch looks like on my 6.75 inch wrist. I'm extremely happy with this fit. In my opinion, it wears perfectly on a wrist of my size and I would have no problem adding it to my collection. But let's go ahead and cut to the outdoor shots so I can show you that natural light reflection. All right, that's going to wrap up this review of the Boulder Venture. And if you've made it this far in the video, I want you to know how much I really do appreciate you sticking around till the end. So thank you for that, and I'll see you in the next one.